guys, I'm Nobini, as you already know, because, like, I'm not going to be polite here. I'm just going to tell you the truth. My dad want me, wanted me to do this because it's, like, in quarantine, you know, this virus, corona, and it's sad, and I'm lonely, and he said that, inst I watch a lot of vlogs and stuff, he said that I should do one. But I should do a book review, and I don't know, I don't, I didn't want to do this, but I had to because I was forced, and yeah, so, um, the book I'm gonna review today is, this, is it, yeah, this, this book, it's called, um, Adventures of a Wimpy Werewolf by Tim Collins, and there's this kid, Luke, who obviously got bitten by a wolf to become a werewolf, like, duh, and, yeah, so, there's, and there's this war about vampires and werewolves, okay, I don't know what I'm saying right now, I'll start, I will just explain it all to you, even though I'm the worst at explaining shit, this is the first book, um, there's this guy called Nigel, Nigel Mullet, and he's a vampire, and this is the second book, the sequel of um, that book, Diary of Wimpy Vampire. This is Prince of Darkness. So it's all by Tim Collins. And so let me explain all three books to you instead of reviewing one shitty book. Okay. In this book, Nigel is an average teenager who could transform at a certain teenage age, maybe 15 or 16. And... Well, when you get transformed, it's obviously, um, you don't change. You don't grow up, you stay that same age. So he stayed 16 or 15, probably 15. And he had a hard life. You know, high school is hard, actually. And over a 100 years, he walked on this earth and never fell in love. Like, he fell in love with this girl called Chloe. She's a new girl, and she walks into school, and then a few hours later, Nigel realized that she has, he has fallen in love with Chloe. And then he tries these stupid attempts to get the girl, which I laugh at. I mean, seriously? He could have just asked me tips. I know, I'm paranoid. Okay. And then he does get the girl, because obviously... The book wouldn't make sense if he didn't get the girl. And then the next book, they break up. Just sad, okay. They break up because, um, you see, everybody, he's in a school and then the grades change, right? Then he has to change. Every year he has to go to a different place because wouldn't it be weird? Like, I'm in seventh grade. And I kept reading in 7th grade, and I don't age. People will notice that, and they'll maybe think it's strange and stuff, and they'll figure out they're vampires and probably try to kill them. That's why he has to change, but this... So when he, like, gets a girlfriend... Oh my god, this is a mosquito. Sorry. It's really sorry. Like, when he gets a girlfriend, he doesn't want to leave him behind, leave her behind. And Chloe, he tells Chloe about the vampire thingy. Chloe understands, and then, yeah, so, and then Chloe wants to become a vampire to go with him. You know, teenage minds, they forget their parents and all those shit. They want to be with their boyfriend, like, I would too. I would do it too. And then, yeah, so, this happened, and then Nigel, Nigel didn't want to change her right now, because he didn't think it was short enough. And then Chloe forced him to change. It's pretty sad. And they broke up. It was a messy breakup. And then after that, after that, um, there there was a new boy who came into class. His name was Jackson or something. Probably Jacob. Oh, Jackson. So anyway, so this Jackson kid, he was a werewolf. And he became Troy's next boy. Did I say Troy? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Chloe, Troy's my friend, you know. So, Troy was... Oh my god, I said it again. I'm, I'm like, so weird. Why do I keep saying Troy? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, they 
became a couple, Jake, Jackson, Jackson, and Chloe. And after that, um, after that, what did they do? Yeah, Nigel got jealous, I think. He was like, you know, Chloe was his first love. And then... Okay, I'm sorry, I just froze. And then Nigel spies on Jackson because he thinks something is something is weird about him and then he finds out that um jackson is a werewolf you're kidding me right and then nigel freaks out because he knows there are werewolves but i mean it's like i know that they are psycho killers but when you when you realize that one of them is in your school you freak out right i know that doesn't make any sense with werewolves but i couldn't find anything that like you know i couldn't say that like vampires are real okay let's just stop i'll just stop i'll then tell you what happened so he freaked out and then troy got tra- close sorry chloe got transformed into um werewolf and all this messed up things happened and then we and then um yeah and then all something happened blah 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 and we'll start on the this view because if I tell you the whole story, you won't be even like the mother to ya thak bana pora like itcha thak bana thay na. So yeah, I won't tell you say anymore. So I'll tell about this. So this this book is about um what's the kid's name again? Luke. Luke is with her mother. Lives with her mother. She's a single mom, and he's a really good student. He's straight. Yeah, he's not like me, so yeah. And then, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. No, and then, and then he turns into a werewolf, and they get into a big fight, and then, no, he changes into a werewolf, and then he. Like, he doesn't realize it. He thinks he's going crazy. And the person who changed him into a werewolf, his name is Ryan. But Luke doesn't find out that Ryan changed him into a werewolf. He just thinks that one of... Ryan doesn't even tell him that he changed him. Ryan was evil, you know. And he told Luke that probably someone from his pack changed Luke. But... And Luke was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And he trusted Ryan. And then Ryan started a plot of destroying Luke. Okay. I should have not started with this book. It was a bad idea. Because, like, all three of these books have a connection. Uh, all the three have a connection of... um, Like, they have a connection because... Nigel and Luke and Chloe, they all get together and... Okay, I'll just tell you the ending. Nigel, Luke, and Chloe, they all get together and... There's a, you know, there's a hate between vampires and werewolves. They finish the hate. I mean, they still don't like each other, but they can live with each other. That's why, um... And they did this and stuff, so... Yeah, and they... Yeah, okay, I'll just tell you what happened. They finished, there was a war. They finished the war and they were lived happily ever after. And that's it. I'll just show you some pictures right now. If I can. Because I'm not good with talking. And-